so first of all what you want to do is find some text that you like and use that as your basis for the design. Now I've looked on Pinterest, I have a whole Pinterest board of typography that's really lovely and um, I've looked at the two fonts that I need, played around with them and freehanded this design. If you're not very good at freehand you can easily just size them up on the computer as needed in like Photoshop or Paint or a basic Word document and then print them off and trace it as needed. So this was my original freehand which I have done with the initials of my couple and here we have some grease proof paper where I have traced this design again with a graphite pencil. Now as this is going to be printed essentially onto the fondant you need to also draw it again on the back so it is back to front because imagine with a mirror it's going to show the opposite side so we need the back engraved into and traced around and then I will show you how to get this image onto your cake ready to start piping. Okay so you want to take your image Find the area of your cake that you want to put the monogram on. Let's go in here on the cake. Um, this is going to have a brushed gold band, so I need to bring it down a little bit and make sure it is centre. Then with a bamboo stick, I'm just going to brush make sure your fondant has set up overnight and is really rock hard and then you will have a very faint design as such here I've pressed the little hard so there's a bit of bruising I'm just going to go in and just smooth this out and yeah but there you go you've got a nice faint design and this is what we're going to paint or pipe over you can paint over this also so you can do the same thing for a painted image. Um, in terms of using a graphite pencil, it's perfectly safe, it's very minimal amount on the cake and it is non-toxic. So now we'll get to piping. Okay, so I've got my bag of Royal Icing, soft Royal Icing, soft peak. I have a 1.5 PME, I always struggle to say that quickly, PME um, round piping tip and it's only filled up about two quarters full so it's, I can rest it nicely in my hand so I like to squeeze a little bit out first just to make sure I've got the right consistency and then we're just going to go in and trace the design and then what I'm going to do here is fill this in. I'll put the nozzle or the piping bag under a damp cloth just to make sure for the meantime it doesn't dry out and then I'm going to take a damp paintbrush and just smooth this down. You can also tidy up any edges that you don't like or if there's any gaps you can use that as well. And then where this overlap is here, again we can just use the paintbrush with the water to join that in there. So I'm just going to put some little markers so I know where I want things to be. Kind of build that design up and I might add some other things. So here I'm going to come down 
to the leaf. Now this whole design, you can again print something like this, print the whole design and rub that on to the cake as we did with the initials and then pipe over that. Um, today I'm just freehanding, it kind of, it depends, sometimes I'll, if there's something a bit more complicated I might put the whole design in. Um, today I'm quite happy to just roll with it really. Fit for a royal wedding almost. <laughs> it's gonna go over this leaf again. So as the royal icing dries, you can actually go back over the design to give it a more 3D effect. So it's, it, it just adds interest, it adds interest if like areas are sticking out. Really quite happy with this. A few two more little dots here. And there we have it. So I'm going to leave this to dry and then paint it in an edible gold.